I think anytime there's a crisis situation uh, like we have with the pandemic, children's uh, parents are gonna, there's gonna be a lot of ideas and, and innovation that people seek out. Guilford County School Board member Pat Tillman has heard from families considering pod-based learning, but has concerns about the outcome. The same concern Superintendent Sharon Contreras has. Wealthy families will take these teachers um, provide for their children, and then the racial achievement gap will increase and uh, life outcomes will ultimately decline. A retired teacher told me he's decided against leading a pod for several reasons. First, he's concerned about the potential health risks. Second, he's worried about inequity when some families can afford more personalized attention, something school board members have been talking about during meetings. Uh, we're, already, we're already already going to be faced with a widening of the achievement gap, uh, given how long our students have been out of the classroom with traditional instruction. Pat Tillman says it's one thing if people want to hire retired or substitute teachers to help. If, and that's a big if, if our teachers are in a sense being lured away from the classroom, um, that's a whole nother issue that, that we would want to address.